Welcome back to The Mining Show 2018. Today, we're lucky to have with us Nano One again with Stephen Campbell, the principal scientist. Thanks for coming. You're welcome. Good morning. Um, principal scientist implies a PhD. What's your doctorate in? It was in electrochemistry, semiconductor electrochemistry, and fuel cells and batteries. How long have you been in the field? Oh, 35 years. <laughs> <laughs> and still learning every day. Always every day. It's always something new. So as principal scientist, you guide a team of researchers at Nano One. I have a very great team of people in Nano One doing great things, yeah. How many people are on the team? Uh, 10 or 12 people. And what's the biggest project you're working on today? The biggest project we're working on is the commercialization of our process to make cathode materials for lithium-ion batteries. Right. We have a number of, uh, of different materials. The, the high nickel materials is, is, is a big interest, and also the high voltage spinel materials. Now, the lithium-ion batteries uh, have been in existence really since late 1970s, mm -hmm. commercialized in the early 2000s. And you're saying you have a new process for the lithium side or the cathode side of the battery? The cathode material side of the battery. Uh, the technology that was invented in the 1970s, um, as the market expands drastically for battery electric vehicles, there's a potential for looking at that technology again. Right. And we have a new process that's, that we believe is much better, much more efficient, and makes better material. What's the difference? The difference is that the traditional way is very much a solid state reaction. The lithium co cobalt, you just grind the two together and fire it. Right. Whereas we mix our metals together in, in solution and then fire them all later, so the firing time is much shorter. Do you think they'll make for a longer lasting battery? It should do because the homogeneity is really, really important. And as materials get more complicated in, in the new materials that are coming out, they're very, very much more complicated. And so they need better control over how you make it. And the solid state, you really can't do that. Does that have the same memory fatigue that you find in other lithium ion batteries? Similar, but it's better. They suffer from the so, same. So, so the fatigue is actually less, not oh, better. Yeah. No. <laughs> yes, it's, it, it goes on. It depends how you say it, yeah. Right. Better is good, not right. bad. So how close are we to commercialization? Very close. We're, we have a process, we have a pilot plant where it's, scale, it's scalable, we've proven it's. In scalable. Quebec, right? No, it's in Vancouver, in Burnaby, British Columbia. So what do you have in, Van in Quebec? We don't have anything in Quebec but some good friends in the lithium space. Okay, so you have your plant then in Vancouver? It's in Vancouver, yeah. In Burnaby, actually. In Burnaby. Mm -hmm. And uh, is that where your research team works? Yep, we're all, we're all in Burnaby now. Okay, so we were talking about how close to commercialization. Uh, we're looking for partners in commercialization now. We have it scaled up, it's scalable. We're sending kilo quantities to third parties for evaluation and we're talking to a lot of people who are interested in going to the very much the next level which is full commercialization. Where do you think lithium ion batteries are going? Uh, the most exciting thing that's happening now is the, is the move into the solid state. There's a lot of uh, players even in the automotive space that would prefer to go to solid state batteries and that requires different materials and that's the next, next generation. Um, technology in lithium ion batteries. So you've survived the first day of PDAC? It's fascinating. It's, it's an amazing to see so many people here. It's really quite interesting. It's, it's great. I thank you for your time. You're very welcome.